Hey, 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 it's Bessie B and I'm back again with another Trader Joe's review. Today, I'm gonna twist it up just a little bit. Today, I decided that I want to discuss a meal that I actually created with Trader Joe's products. So, I'm gonna do a little insert clips for you so you'll see the different objects that I use. But I've been, you know, watching my figure, as they say, or eating really healthy during this quarantine time, because let me tell you, ain't nobody got time to be gaining. No way, honey. So I decided last week to prepare a meal. I prepared some salmon, some cauliflower mash, and some asparagus for my dinner last week. And it was magnificent, so delicious. Let me tell you why it's delicious though, because I know this may sound a little crazy, and to some people that may be like, well, Bessie, it's just cauliflower. No, let me tell you something. How you prepare cauliflower is a pretty big deal. And to be honest, how you prepare asparagus is a pretty big deal. I mean, hell, how you prepare your salmon is a pretty big deal. So the first thing that I got was uh, the wild caught uh, salmon that they had at Trader Joe's. I prefer to get the one with the skin off just cause when I'm ready to devour honey, I'm ready to devour. I don't have time to be picking anything off. So I got that. And then for the cauliflower, I got this cauliflower right here. Yep. So I got this cauliflower here. It is perfect. When I say perfect, perfect. The ingredients or the instructions I should say said to add some water, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend adding water. Reason being is that cauliflower already produces a lot of moisture, a lot of water. It's already a vegetable that I feel like once you steam or you cook down, it just produces a lot of water. So I did not add any water. I just put it in the pot and put a lid over it because everybody knows when you put a lid over things, it's going to steam. So I did that and I added just a little bit of extra cheese to it. You know, I love me some cheese and it came out so good. Next, I got the asparagus, this right here. That asparagus was so good. Let me tell you why that asparagus is the best one at Trader Joe's. The grilled asparagus is the best one because it already has like that smoke from the grill. You know, let me tell you something. You can bake chicken, you can fry chicken, you can saute vegetables on the on the uh, stove top, whatever you wanna do. But there is nothing like some food on the grill, baby. So this asparagus is especially good because it has like those little like grilled lines on it. And when you're heating it, you can still smell the smoke from the grill. So good. So I take that and so they don't become soggy, I like to just take them put them on the stove top and just kind of like toss them around. I don't add extra oil, I don't add any extra moisture because they're frozen. And the thing about that is with them being frozen, I feel like they kind of get that like weird moisture and then they become soggy and I ain't got no time for that either. So I took that, created that, took some mushroom, sauteed some mushroom, baby. Let me tell you, I saute those mushroom and some coconut amino, you know, AKA the substitute to soy sauce. Baby, bomb. Take that and if you get some browning sauce, I got the browning sauce from another grocery store, but if you get the browning sauce, you put that coconut amino. Baby, baby, let me tell y'all, bomb. Then you take the salmon. So I got the salmon and I decided to just kind of like keep it classy. I got the refrigerated pesto from Trader Joe's. I'll definitely review that in another video because their pestos at Trader Joe's is definitely different. Got the pesto, took the pesto and I just like glazed it across the salmon. I didn't add any other extra. Only thing I'd say you can add a little extra is a little bit of salt. But you gotta be careful with salt cause you know, you don't never know what's too salty and what's not. But you take that, don't put too much oil in the pan because the pesto already packs a bunch of having like a good amount of oil. Take it and then you saute it on the side with the pesto, let it cook, flip it over, let it cook. Then all the little pesto bits just get all crunchy and mm. As y'all can tell, I love to cook. 
and I damn sure love to eat a good meal, okay? That meal was so good, so good. When I say I would definitely be making that meal again, all from Trader Joe's, all from Trader Joe's. Y'all gotta get it. You gotta get that asparagus. You gotta get that cauliflower. You gotta get the fresh salmon. Ain't nothing like they fresh salmon. Baby, you would not regret it. I'm telling you.